All right, guys, what's happening? Welcome back. We're diving into another Arvon collab, man. This is Neon Jumpsuit, a double IPA. And this is a collab with, hold on now, Watermark. So we like that. I like Watermark beer. They do incredible stuff. I've had a lot of great beers for them at Seven Monks Tap Room in Traverse City. Uh, so we have a double IPA with Rika Rikawa. It must be Rawaka. So disclaimer, Arvon's been known to mess up some of their, you know, ingredients or, or have a typo on their ingredient list. So yeah, I think this is uh, Rewaka hops and Cascade hops brewed with Watermark Brewing Company. So drink fresh. We have a can on date, which is, I haven't seen in a while, February 17th. Today's the 11th of March. So we like this. Less than uh, about three weeks old. So, or a little over. So we will dive in at 8% and see what this beast is like, guys. Um, pleasure to be here. Thank you for being here watching the video. And again, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Let's go for a pour. Hope you boys and girls are doing pretty good today. The sun is going down. Probably the last beer of the night, I'm going to call it. I have a lot of daddy duties to do, so um, maybe a beer to finish it off. As we look at this, straw, copper, light yellowy orange you get a little bit more amber caramel on camera you get a huge head but i poured it extremely aggressively i mean it's like three and a half fingers worth almost four um yeah a little little harsh on the pour there but this looks like almost some sort of new england style to some degree i i i, I don't know it's it's certainly not as viscous or thick and hazy as some of the others but it's got some haze to it it's certainly not clear it's hard to say. It's, it's hard to say what this 8% monster will be like. So we have moderately intense carbonation stream to the top and a huge head sitting on top. Let's see if we can get an aroma with this Greek schnoz. Hold on. I've had some weird like congestion lately, but hopefully it doesn't hinder this. What does that smell like? It's like toasty. It's like toasty caramel, like maltiness. Weird. It's it's I, that's like the toastiest citrus I've ever seen in a beer. That's that's a crazy aroma. Like slightly dank, but again, like think of burnt toast. I'm getting that like this white bready burnt toast with it with a tinge of caramel malt. God, that's so strange. It's like throwing me through a loop, man. Is that real? And then it's like this like dank floral. Citrus, guava. Wow, I, I I'm I don't know what's up with my nose. I'm getting like literally burnt toast, citrus, and stone fruit, sort of. Yeah, it's throwing me through a loop. I'm gonna dive in, guys. It is neon jumpsuit. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. <laughs> this beer is crazy. <laughs> It's it's so odd. Like it's like almost perfumey burnt toast, like floral perfume. But there's this nice like apricot, like um, papaya kind of quality, and there's like this dank passion fruit. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know where my nose is confusing something. It's, it smells like burnt toast caramel. But it's good. Like it's uniquely drinkable at eight percent. Very bright, slightly aromatic. Um, I, there's this dank, weedy quality in here, and then you get this like almost like white grape in a way. But that that other smell, it's like this perfumey citrus stone fruit thing that's throwing me through a loop. But again, I get, I'm getting like maybe something I'm mistaken for this burnt black toast and caramel. I don't know. It's just a strange malty middle that isn't actually that malty when you drink it. White grape, a little bit of that alcohol showing itself a little bit. Um, not not in a bad way. It's just you can tell it's a little bit of ethanol burn. Um, you can tell it's high ABV, but that middle is really easy going. Super drinkable. Almost like IPL qualities, like India Pale Lager. Like I get that a lot in this one. There's like this passion fruit guava thing that's going on in here. Um, but again, I, I don't know what I'm mistaking that, that burnt toast thing for. It's just 
kind of perfumey and, and, and malty, but not showing itself or flexing through the middle of your palate. It's, it's oddly drinkable. Feels like it shouldn't be, but it's got this bright citrus stone fruit quality. Again, maybe like a little papaya passion fruit, uh, apricot, and and uh, grapefruit. I guess it's it's like this very overripe, juicy grapefruit that's kind of playing into this as well. Yeah, my nose is like playing tricks on me, I swear. So guys, forgive me, I don't know what's going on. Uh, obviously this isn't burnt toast, but it sure smelled like it for a little bit there. Um, one last final thought here. Like dang white grape too. It's just, there's a lot going on. I feel like I could break this beer down for the next hour, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. So take what I said worth a grain of salt and I'm just gonna give you a rating. Yeah. I don't know what I was talking about earlier. I don't know. My nose is playing tricks. So um, it's super bright. It's it's, uh, it's citrusy, stone fruity, uh, passion fruity, grapefruity. It's got everything. It's got many many layers to it. I feel like I could uh, just decipher it for days. Um, instead of that, we're just going to go with a uh, three point nine five out of five. It's just it's interesting. It's, it gives me like IPL vibes and it, it's pretty dang drinkable at eight percent so you heard it from here guys it's uh yeah a rating from poor michigan reviews i'm over and out see you next time cheers